Erin. So today I'm going to be making a DIY muscle tea video. This is what a muscle tea looks like. They're similar to the ones at <clears throat> Brandy Melville. And if you don't have a Brandy Melville by you, I don't, you can make them at home. So I'm going to show you guys first of all what you need. Oh, and I usually wear a sports bra or a bando under them. And also, sorry I'm, I'm in cheer clothes. I had cheer practice like right before I filmed this video. So yeah, okay. So the first thing you need is a pair of scissors. Easy. Okay? Everybody has these, and if you don't, go get some. You can also use um, an X-Acto knife. Is that what it's called? But I just prefer scissors. And then you need a t-shirt. This is just my gym's logo. And I really like this t-shirt, but it's black, and the sleeves get really hot, so I'm just going to cut them off. Um, so yeah, you need a t-shirt. Make sure you have your parents' permission to cut the t-shirt, because you could ruin it. So let's get started. So the first thing you need to do is obviously lay out your t-shirt. And then the next thing is completely optional, but it's to cut the neckline. You want to cut it right under the seam here if you're going to cut it. This one is a higher up neckline and I don't like that. The one I'm wearing right now, my pink shirt that I had in the intro obviously, isn't very high. So I didn't end up cutting this one. But for this one you want to. And you want to cut the back and the front evenly. So I'd, I'm going to cut a little bit here. So I'm just going to make a mark here. Oh, and never use dull scissors for this, y'all. It's horrible. Just letting you know. So I'm going to cut a slit there. And I'm going to come on the other side, and I'm going to cut a slit here. You can do a V-neck if you want to, but I think muscle tees look better as just a, um, what is this called, a crew neck? Just a rounded neck. I think it looks better. And it's okay if it's not a completely straight or curved line, whatever. So yeah, okay. I'm just going to cut this now and fast forward this. You will know if you cut it right is when you cut this, if once you're done cutting, it lines up with the slit that you made on the opposite side. So if you start cutting at the slit you made here and you end perfectly at the slit you made here, you'll know you cut the neck li line right. It's okay if you're a little bit off, um, but I think it looks better when you have it perfectly round, I mean, as much as you can. And it's okay if you have these pieces that look a little bit choppy. Really, no one's going to notice, but if it bothers you, because it does bother me, just snip it off, and you're good. So that's the neckline, and now we will move on to how to cut the sleeves. So we're going to move on to the sleeves now, so I'm just going to turn this t-shirt just a little bit towards me, so it's easier for me to cut, obviously. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is, I would recommend trying on your shirt and deciding how long you want the um, the armholes to be, and if your teacher t-shirt is light enough, make a mark, but mine obviously is not. And I've made enough of these to kind of know where I want them. I usually like to do it, that's not even, I don't know, just about here. So if you have a logo on your t-shirt, usually that's right in the middle, so it's kind of like the middle of the logo. So I'm just going to make a slit. You can make it bigger, or you don't even have to make it big, because you might not want like your bando to show, or your sports bra. So I'm going to make a slit. Not even very big, just a little bit. It's like as wide as my thumb. So, yeah. And now I'm just going to take it from that slit, and I'm just going to cut it up. You don't want to make it curved, because otherwise it's not going to be like a muscle shirt. You need to kind of curve it up. And then once you get to a straight point, you're just going to cut it straight up. And I would take your time on this so it doesn't look super choppy. just want to do that same thing on the other side. Also, the further you cut in, the smaller the straps are going to be, so very, be very, very careful. That's all you have to do. So now here is my muscle shirt, and I will try it on for you guys in a minute, but isn't it super cute? Like, I love my gym's logo so much. So anyways, um, you can also cut the bottom if you want to. I actually cut the bottom on this t-shirt and another muscle shirt I have, and I just don't like the way it comes out. I tried to do, like, the rounded bottom, but I actually just prefer it like a straight across. So I'm going to go try on this t-shirt for you guys. Um, keep in mind it's a little bit big. It's okay to ponytail it, but you know, this one's going to be big. All they have is larges and I'm like an extra small, so I was like, whatever. Obviously back and I'm wearing it and honestly I really like it. This is how far, okay, let me slip up so I don't have jelly rolls. This is how far down it goes. It's about, I don't know, my hip's right here. Well, not my hip. 
um, hip flexors are like right here so it's like right above my hip flexors which is really nice and I really like these this is perfect for cheerleading like any t-shirts like these are like the bomb for cheerleading like just not even kidding um, you can make them just for every day I definitely definitely like these for every day like I wear these so much which is like distressed high-waisted shorts or I don't know something like that it just looks super duper cute so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys make um, Shirts like this, make sure to Instagram it for me. My Instagrams are my Instagram is always in the description. I don't let sketchy accounts follow me, so most likely if you don't have like a profile picture and I can't really like see who you are, I won't let you follow me just because privacy, you know, you know. So, anyways, also you could leave it as a video response. I don't know, just let me know. So hope you guys enjoy this video. Bye!